Hello everybody, I hope you're doing good. I hope you know life just is sweet you. I hope everything is going very well for y'all. Today's video is a little different. As I know I've been doing videos about you know the French, the Spanish, da 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 da. But there's one more language that I've been working on that I haven't really mentioned on this channel. Just because I was like I mean, this language is not that common, like, you know, what if there's a lack of interest just because, you know, maybe they don't know about it. But first of all, just, just know. One, you know, I shouldn't assume. And two, if you don't know about it, don't worry because you're going to know now. I also wanted to share this because I feel like it's something that a lot of people will be able to relate to. Maybe not with Edo language in specific, but immigrant parents move to a new country, kids are born in said country, and then the native language is not really transmitted or transmitted you know as well as one would like i feel like that's actually something that is very 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 common now this language is a regional language that comes from the edo state in nigeria so my parents when they came over here you know they brought their native language with them but they also speak english now as a kid obviously my nigerian culture was you know it was important to me but i feel like the things that are more important to children are like i want to get the new lumi though i want to get the new you know zoomy pets or what you know whatever it was in that period of life as a kid i wasn't so like intent on learning this language i wasn't like if that's one thing i have to learn, i must learn it like it wasn't anything like that i feel like as kids or at least you know me as a kid yeah no we're just we're not focused on all that however as i get older and like go into adulthood and all that like i want to improve my skills in this language you know especially with me learning other languages and, and seeing how that opens you up to new cultures i definitely understand now that me improving my skills in my native language will just help me get to a whole new like level of connection with my culture which is something i would really want and something that would be very important to me now this language is spoken at my house but i would say extremely sparingly i would say i remember as a kid it was definitely spoken more my parents would speak to us more in a dough and i would say they definitely did make an effort but i think a life just got in the way you know for both parties okay so there's certain greetings that are exchanged in a do uh in my house like when i wake up laku or obobe is something i would say to my parents and you know that'll be exchanged if i'm leaving i would say like which is like goodbye when i get home i would say like obowa or if somebody is arriving at home i would say obohia to them so it's like just kind of basic stuff that is exchange between me and my parents and Ado but if it comes to having a conversation about anything it's it's really basically in English so you can see like Ado mm, English Ado English and then when I go out obviously English 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 so it's like it's not really immersion I would say previously in my life there has been you know like sporadic attempts to like you know learn this language because it's something I would uh, want to be more proficient at and uh, they, they just I don't know it just didn't work out for me I feel like maybe I was too young to actually learn a language on my own I don't, I don't know now I have like experience learning not one but two languages so I feel like now and what I've kind of been doing is been trying to revisit the learning of Edo because I have more experience on what it takes to learn a language you know Edo Learning is definitely a challenge for several reasons because one, it is nothing like English, you know what I'm saying? Like English is, I think a romance, or is it a Germanic language? Well, basically there's languages that stem from Latin and all of them are very similar. Like English, Spanish, French, Portuguese, Italian. Me being an English speaker and wanting to learn one of those languages is kind of like, you know, like, uh, okay, there's some similarities, but this it's just a whole different type of language. I have to research into like what language group it falls in, but it's it's totally different. There's no there's really no similarities when it comes to grammar, conjugation, all that stuff. The second thing I would say is that compared to languages like French, you know, German, all those I don't know European languages, I feel like there's not as many resources to learn it because that's something that ideally your parents would pass down to you. Despite the kind of lack of 
resources or, or difficulties i have a plan okay i, I have a plan that i'm gonna present to y'all first of all i'm gonna come with the goal okay i want to be very specific with the goal i think it's very important when you're learning a language so obviously you know i would love to be fluent i would love to have my parents level in this language but um we gotta be realistic okay because you know obviously this is something they grew up with and me um you know my brain is not as as young as it used to be i think fluidity would be like an eventual goal for me but for a short-term goal here it is so when it comes to comprehension i want to improve my comprehension because like the thing is i understand it like if you're talking to me i can i can get the gist of what you're saying but i would like to improve my comprehension to like 85 90 right now i feel like it's at a good 60 percent and then when it comes to like my speaking abilities i want to what did i write down be able to express my opinions on certain subjects foods or people that's the goal and then i put kind of a, a deadline not a deadline but when i would want to you know be able to check in on my goals and be like oh did i accomplish it did i not and that is September, so that is in six, seven months. I think that's very doable. And then next, the plan. First of all, mom and dad, there is gonna have to be some changes, okay? I am gonna tell them, if it's not an adult, don't chat to me. No, I'm playing, I'm, I'm not gonna say that. But yeah, like I would like at least more than half of the conversation of the communication in the house to be an adult because you know immersion immersion is really important when you're learning a language like that you're just hearing it all the time you know and that gives me the opportunity to to think like okay how would i respond to this in a adult and then you know that could be a conversation between me and my parents so next i want to find at least one to two steady resources now there was this podcast let's edolize it this is a podcast by steffi uefo that i found there are currently three episodes extremely well made i was like wow i hit the jackpot this is the podcast that's gonna help me really improve my edo she breaks down kind of the grammar some history all that but it seems as if the last episode was in December of 2022. Now, I don't know if she's gonna come back with some new episodes. I hope she does. Um, Cause that would be a really great resource for me, honestly. Maybe I'll like send her an email if she left her contact information. She's like, hey girl, go yo, what's going on? <laughs> but besides that, music, I think Edo music is a great resource um, cause there is a lot of it. And it's, you know, it's a little vibe. And just whatever resources I can find, I am going to take advantage of them and make the best use of them that I can. So yeah, I just wanted to share this subject a bit more personal, you know, to me, to my culture. On this channel because you know it's about language learning you know that should include all aspects of my language learning so look out for those videos in the future I think it'll be very it's a word that I'm looking for not satisfying rewarding it's not the word I was looking for but I think it'll be very rewarding to see where I can get with this language um, by September and I know it's something that Maybe right now I won't see necessarily the impacts because I only really talk with my parents and my relatives in this language. But I feel like one day I'll be like, dang, like I'm so glad I took the time and put the effort to like actually learn this language when I was a, a wee a wee child. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you have similar stories, I would love to hear them in the comments. Because I feel like this is a widespread thing. It's widespread, child. But yes. Other than that, um, hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video.